pleasure to welcome you all once again to a new class of e-learning program. It's me Shabia here to teach mathematics for 6th standard. So this is the third part of our video class for the chapter number 1 angles. last two parts we were discussing about what is an angle, what are the types of angle, how to name, measure and draw an angle. I hope you all understood that part. Isn't it? Good. I gave some homework also in last classes. I think you all done that already. Right? Good. If anybody missed to watch our previous classes, please follow on our school's YouTube channel because these parts are connected and continuation of one to another. So students, can we start our class? Okay, so this is a final and important part of this chapter. Here we are going to discuss about how to divide a circle into equal parts using set square and protractor. Before we start, we need to know something about circle. A circle is a set of all points in the same plane that lies equal distance from the center point. So, there will be a center point. Let me ask you a question. Did you know what is the angle around that center point? Yes, 360 degree. How did you get that? Let me show you something. As we know, a protractor having 180 degree angle, that means it is a half circle. If I place another protractor like this, it becomes a full circle. So the measurement is 180 plus 180, that's equal 360 degree. So we prove that a circle has a total of 360 degree all the way around the center point. The another point is that angle of 1 degree is good by dividing a circle into 360 equal parts. Let's go to the main topic, circle division. In part 1 of this video class, we mentioned we can divide a circle into equal parts using corners of a set square. The same we learn in 5th standard also. Before we divide a circle using set square, we need to know angles of that set square. We have two types of set square in our geometry box. The first one is this. This is the right angle, so the angle is 90 degree. And the other two angle is 45 degree each. The second set square is this. The, this right angle 90 degree and the smallest angle 30 degree, other one 60 degree. Do you have any doubt about this measurement on set square? We can make it clear while we are doing circle division. Now I am going to divide a circle into equal parts using this corner of a set square. Look, we can divide a circle into four equal parts using this corner. What should be the degree of each angle? We know that the angle around the center point of a circle is 360 degree. So each angle should be 360 divided by 4 is equal to 90 degree. Same way we can divide a circle into 8 equal parts using this corner of a set square. Then what should be the degree of each angle? We know that the angle around the center point is 360 degree. So 360 divided by 8 that equal 45 degree each. Likewise, by using another set square, we can divide a circle into 12, 6 equal parts. So students, now you clear about angles of set square, how to divide 4, 6, 8, 12 equal parts using corners of set square. 
So let's look at our earlier problem of dividing a circle into five equal parts. We know that we can't divide a circle into five equal parts using corners of a set square. So we are using protractor. Okay? By using protractor, we can divide a circle into equal parts. We are going to divide a circle into five equal parts. What we do? We know that the angle around the center point is 360 degree. So 360 divided by 5 that equals 72 degree. So we got the angle measurement. First draw a circle. Mark the radius and place the protractor on the center point. Can you see 72 degree here? Yes, it is. Then mark 72 degree. Now we can place the protractor like this. Again mark 72 degree. Repeat the same process two times more. See, we got five equal parts in the circle. So students, we divide a circle into five equal parts. If I join these points like this, we got a shape. You know what is the name of this shape? Yes, this is a regular pentagon. Same way we will join this figure, we will get a hexagon and we will join this figure, we will get an octagon. We can divide a circle into 9 parts, 10 parts, up to 360 parts. Only one thing you need to keep in your mind. That is, angle around the center point of a circle is 360 degree. Let's go through some activities from your textbook. Hope you all received our new textbook. Good. From the activities, I will show you some example. Rest of them you can do as your homework. Can you draw angles of sizes given below using set square? Okay, we know angles of set square. We want to draw these angles only by using set square. Okay, start with 75 degree. Which are the angles we need to add for getting 75 degree? Yes. 45 and 30 equals 75. So, we will place these two sets square like this. We will get 75 degree. Same way, let's see how to draw 105 degree angle. Which are the angles we need to add for getting 105 degree? Yes, 60 and 45. So we will place these two sets square like this. We will get 105 degree. Now you can easily do rest of two works in this activity. Right? Then please draw 135 degree and 15 degree figures by using corners of set squares in your notebook. Move to the activity number 2. In the figure below, calculate the fraction of whole circle the green and yellow parts are. Here, the yellow part is 20 degree out of 360 degree. For converting this one into smallest fraction, we need to divide numerator and denominator by a common factor. Here, 20 is the biggest common factor. In 20, 20 is 1 time and in 360, 20 is 18 time. So the smallest fraction will be 1 by 18. So in this figure, if the circle is divided into 18 parts, one part is yellow, remaining 17 part is green. In second figure, the yellow part is 24 degree out of 360 degree. Same way, we can calculate the fraction of yellow part is 1 out of 15 and green part is 14 out of 15. 
rest of four works in this activity now you can do easily from your home the answer should be like this activity number 3 draw circles and mark the fractional parts given below color them also it is very simple because we know that how to divide a circle into equal parts the first question is 3 by 8 draw a circle divide the circle into eight parts the angle should be 360 by 8 that is equal 45 degree each and color the three parts out of eight parts likewise we can do the second work 2 by 5 we can easily draw by following same step remember angle should be 72 degree okay there are three more works in this activity you can do and practice as your homework So students we completed this chapter angles try to do more activities and examples from your home wish you a happy learning have a nice day thank you